All right, so let's get into it. This is the NT Coco. I don't know. It seems like some randomly generated name. Uh, it doesn't make much sense to me, but it's one of the popular brands for pillows on Amazon. And this was the pillow that when I was looking on Amazon and looking at the description and the reviews and looking at the pictures of the material on the inside of the pillow, this is what looked as similar to the coupe as I could find. And basically I was looking at the coupe online and looking at the pictures of the material and looking at reviews and people doing it. And I, I tried to find as many YouTube reviews of both of these pillows so I could see in detail what the foam texture looked like before buying competitor pillow, which is this one. That's the pillow that we're, you know, using to compare. And I've used both these pillows for over a month. Well, I've used the coupe for like two months. I used this for like around a week or around a month, a couple weeks. And, uh, and then I'll tell you what I thought. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'll start with the coupe because that's basically the benchmark that we're comparing the other pillow to. And the coupe pillow, it's not in here right now because I took it out and the way they get it in here is vacuum sealing it and I wasn't going to vacuum seal the pillow and put it back in the box. So yeah, obviously in order to review a pillow for a month, you have to open it and that's what happened. But this is how the box opens. It's pretty cool. I actually really like the packaging of the pillow. It made me feel like I spent 70 bucks on a pillow. I open it like this and then it opens like that. And this is cool. On the inside, it says be different, be unique. It's a pillow, it's not that serious, but yeah, I definitely feel different for spending 70 bucks on a pillow, that's for sure. <laughs> and then inside of here, you get like this thing, <laughs> and I think this, this basically tells you how to set up the pillow. It says, uh, one, you know, prep your pillow, you throw in the dryer for like 15 minutes, you fluff it up, if you're, um, you can adjust your pillow. So this is the other thing that I forgot to mention. The coupe pillow, one of the things that makes it so great is that it's adjustable. And when we say adjustable, it just means you can add or remove material from the pillow to make it harder or softer, or bigger, some smaller, whatever, you know. They give you this extra material on the inside that you can add, right? Or you can remove some if you'd like, obviously. But anyways, it gives you some instructions in step two, like if you're a side sleeper, a back sleeper, or a stomach sleeper. I tend to never sleep on my stomach. I do tend to sleep on my back. I try to do that. I think it's the healthiest way to sleep, but then sometimes I sleep on the side and I'm not gonna adjust my pillow every time I switch from my back to my side. That would be insane. Nonetheless, they do give you instructions if you primarily sleep in a certain way, what to do with the pillow adjustments. And then it tells you to use in step three, uh, it tells you to check your alignment and it tells you to use your phone or a mirror. It shows a picture of a phone and a magnifying glass though, which is weird. But anyways, I don't know. Do they make mirrors that are handheld that look like that? Anyways, so it says you use that and then you sit on your know, whatever position that you sleep in and uh, see if your neck is aligned. And then step four is to fluff your pillow every morning. Oh, I don't do that. No wonder why it's, it seems to be getting a bit flat. So yeah, I should probably start doing that. Um, that is one thing I noticed is that over time, and I fluff my pillow every few days when I notice that it's getting flat, but yeah, it, it will get flat if you don't fluff it up, like any pillow probably will. So anyways, that's the packaging in a nutshell. We've got this extra stuff in there, and then it's just a box. And the way it's delivered is the pillow itself is sort of vacuum sealed and rolled up and put in the box with this. Let's take a look at the competitor and their packaging. Let's look at this pillow. So this pillow, price of the NT Coco, $50. You get two pillows for 50 bucks, which comes out to about $25 a pillow. Compared to the Coop pillow, which is $70 for one pillow, that's like three times the price. This pillow, the packaging is a box. It's a normal box. It opens, you know, it's like this, and then you open it. That's how it is. When you open the box, you get a pillow. And there's nothing else. There's a piece of paper. 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 Oh. Paper. This pillow comes with a picture of a lady hugging a pillow. I'm already starting to like this. So it says, enjoy your sleep with comfort memory foam pillow. Scientific ergonomic design through the balance support of head, neck, and shoulder. The three-point curve forms a curvature that fits the cervical spine, promotes sleep, and prolongs deep sleep time. That's weird. It says the three-point curve forms. Is that for a different pillow? There's no three-point curve. This is a four-point square pillow. Anyways, on the back, it has instructions similar to the coupe. It basically says, let, open this, let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes, and then 
throw it in the machine, tumble dry for 10 minutes, low heat. It basically adjusts, says adjust to your sleep style. Um, side sleeper, try as is or remove. Uh, back, sleeper, uh, back sleeper, remove a quarter of the foam and stomach sleeper removes about a third. And then it's, it does say, it says because the pillowcase is natural bamboo, the pillow is a natural memory cotton. Don't know what that means, but the pillow will have a slight natural odor. It's telling me the pillow will stink. Uh, and then it says, please spread your pillow in a ventilated area for an hour. Yeah, so that's that, that's the instructions. Let's get into what we wanted to see. That is what's inside the pillows and why I was comparing the two and trying to find a cheaper version and why I thought that might be the case with that pillows. All right, so here I have the two pillows. This is the Coop, this is the Antigoco, and uh, they look pretty, I mean, they're different, but they both just look like pillows from the outside. Feeling wise though, the, the pillowcase of this Coop is just noticeably softer than the Antikoko. So if I were to just blind feel these, yeah. And then the feeling, at first impression, it seems similar, but uh, they're not exactly the same. But let's move on to the filling and then get back to the overall experience of the pillow. All right, let's talk fillers or fillings or whatever you call the inside of a pillow, which is mostly foam. Here we have two filling types. This is what I took out of my NT Coco pillow. And then this is what came with the Coop pillow as extra filling. The NT Coco pillow doesn't come with extra filling. It just, I think it just comes with extra filling already in it and you're supposed to take it out. It said to take out about a quarter of the filling for back sleeping. I think I took out more than, more than a quarter. I mean, I've got enough filling here to like make another pillow really. And I took out so much foam that I really didn't want to take out any more at that point. Because the, the pillow, what was happening was it was getting too low, kind of flattening out. It's hard to explain, but I'll get to that in the review of how the actual pillow slept. And then here is the Coop pillow, which I actually didn't use any of the extra and I didn't take any out. I just liked the Coop pillow, how it came. It felt fine when I got it and I like it that way. So I didn't mess around with that. But let's get into the actual material itself. So the reason why I decided to buy this pillow to compare it to the Coop, because this was the closest sort of filling that I could find to the Coop. Um, so let's start with the Coop. Let's start with what the filling actually is. So the Coop pillow, as you can see, got this sort of, it's basically cut up memory foam. That's what it is. Let's start with the Coop's filling, which is essentially cut up memory foam. This is what it is. It's uh, it's really small pieces though. And when I was looking online, this is, I mean, it's what I saw and it was just cut up pieces. So I was just trying to find something close to that. And, uh, and then it has this like, this is like a foam, like the kind of foam you would find in like older pillows, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. So it's like a combination of that. It's most, I would say it's like 80% memory foam and maybe 10% this other stringy foam. And, uh, and I think all the foam pieces are the same kind of foam. They're kind of light and airy. Yeah, they mush together really well. Like you see this ball of coupe pillow filling. Like if I were to, if I were to just squeeze it up into as small of a ball as I can, you know, I could squeeze it into a pretty, pretty small amount of space right there. So it's like fitting in my hand there. And if I let go of it, you know, it kind of expands into a much bigger size. So you can just see, you know, how much air is in there and how that sort of reacts, right? So that's the coupe pillow. Um, that's the filling material. Now we talk about the NT Coco pillow. Again, this was like the closest thing I could find. And this one, um, there's a lot of other pillows that are similar sort of technology or idea, which is the cut up memory foam with a little bit of like stringy material in there. This one is blue because it's supposed to have some kind of cooling gel in there. And I figured, hey, that's, you know, probably better. The Coop offers a similar thing where it's like a blue foam and it has like a cooling gel in there, but it's like 120 bucks instead of 70 bucks or some, some other crazy price that I was just like not gonna pay. But uh, I was like, if I'm gonna get a cheaper one and they offer the blue cooling foam, why not try it out? So that's what I did, uh, but it's pretty much the same idea. And so let me grab a similar amount of this one. So you can see in size, it's about the same, the ball that I got here, um, it expands to about the same size. So comparing apples to apples here. Um, this blue foam, as you can see, it, 
At first glance, I mean, it looks pretty much the same almost as the coop pillow. The thing that's weird about it is there are so, it's got different colors. For example, this one, it looks like it came out of a used pillow. I mean, it's, it's brown. I don't know, it looks dirty. Um, then you've got like this piece right here, which is very blue and has like little blue dots in it. Although when you feel it compared to this coop pillow, you know, the coop pillow kind of, it's a little bit more, I don't know, slower to expand, I would say. And this one's a little bit more plasticky feeling and it, it's not as soft and it kind of just bounces back. Like you press it and it just instantly bounces back. And then there's like different kinds of textures in here. Like this one is more like the coop pillow, this piece right here. This one, when you squeeze it, it still, it still bounces back actually. I squeeze it, it's a little bit slower to bounce back, but it still bounces back a lot quicker than the uh, coupe. Same with this one. This one's a different shade of blue for whatever reason, and you see it just sort of bounces back like that. Um, and they're all, yeah, they're all these different colors of blue. This one's got two different colors. So I don't really know what the whole gel thing is. I don't really, there's no gel feeling. And this one has a totally different feeling than the rest of the foam. This one's more like the coupe pillow where you squeeze it and it doesn't really bounce back but instead of bouncing back it just kind of stays flat it's just weird so yeah I have a feeling they just dyed this stuff blue I don't really see any gel and also the the pieces of the foam are like all different shapes and sizes I mean look at this I mean and they're also different materials it's really inconsistent like you can just feel the difference. This is like a long, big piece. This is a medium piece. And then they've got like these tiny little pieces. Yeah, I don't know why they do it like this. The coupe pillow is generally consistent. There are different shapes and sizes. They're just mostly the same range of shapes and sizes where this is just totally random. I don't know how much that affects the feeling of the pillow, but it seems to have made a difference when I did test the pillows for a month at a time back to back. You also get that stringy material, but where in the coupe, it's kind of evenly spread out and integrated, and it's kind of like you're pulling cheese apart in a sandwich, you know? And you don't see any big clumps of that stringy material. It's all sort of evenly distributed. In this pillow, there are like big clumps of it, and it's not really evenly distributed. And you can just see, it looks like an uglier product in general. And it, it doesn't hold together as well. You see, it just sort of falls apart. Where with this one, you can see totally different than if I, now I could do this. Let me try to squeeze it into my hand into as small of a ball as I can, like I did with the coupe. Kind of see what the difference is. It's hard to do because of how all the pieces aren't all kind of sticking together like the coupe was. These are, and it's not really, it's not easy to do this with this pillow. Oh my God, okay, I'm almost, I'm trying to get a hole on it, I just can't. So I'm just trying to stuff it. Every time I stuff it, it just kind of like pops back out. And, and you'll see how that sort of makes a big difference um, with the actual comfort of the pillow. That's actually probably one of the main issues that I had with this Enti Coco pillow is this sort of fact that it it kind of bounces back and, and it doesn't compress the same way that the coupe pillow does. Yeah, anyways, that's about as small as I can get it. it. It's not, I can't get it as small as I could the coupe pillow and it's less manageable. It just seems to want to come out and it's about that big. Sponsor break. I want to take a moment to thank my sponsor, you guys, because I don't have a sponsor. So you guys are my sponsor. When you like and subscribe to our videos, that's how we get sponsored basically. So make sure you leave a like and or subscribe to the video. Also, if you're interested in buying any of the products that you see in this video or the other videos, check the link in the description down below. That's a great way to sponsor this video. You're gonna buy it anyways, use the link. We got a little bit of money on the side. Thanks for watching. Back to the video. Coop versus Anti Coco. Let's look at the pillow holistically now. Um, obviously the Anti Coco was basically trying to duplicate or replicate what Coop was doing in that they have this cut up memory foam with that binder that we just looked at. While the coupe is, I don't know if they're the original one to do that or if um, they just do it better than anybody else or what exactly it is, but they're doing something special here. There are other expensive pillows on Amazon, about a hundred or so dollars with a similar type of technology, but they are more expensive. And so I just don't know if they're as good or not, but why, why bother if this is just as good as I need it to be? So that's why I'm comparing these two. And 
frankly, the coupe wins. I mean, let's just cut to the chase. The coupe is the better pillow, um, and it is worth spending 70 bucks. Is it worth 70 bucks? I don't know, but it's worth spending the 70 bucks just to be comfortable when you sleep. I think when it comes to things that affect your health or the things that affect you on a daily basis, um, I think it's worth spending extra money on that because it really does bring value. For example, spending more money on your office chair uh, makes sense because you sit in that chair eight hours a day, five days of the week. And if it affects your back, your comfort, your mindset, or anything like that, obviously you wanna have the best. So, you know, don't cheap out on stuff like that. You sleep on a pillow every single night and you spend about eight hours doing it. That can affect your neck muscles, your quality of sleep, which in turn affects the rest of your day. So it's something you wanna invest in and I think it's definitely worth it. And I think the coop pillow is a good investment because honestly the best pillow I've ever used and I'm not saying that with any bias because I actually went into this experiment thinking that the coop pillow wouldn't be all that great because how could it be that much better than something with the same sort of filling so I, I was fully expecting to get a good deal and keep two pillows for $50 and return the coop pillow unfortunately that wasn't the case but at least I now have a pillow that gives me comfortable sleep. The reason why I really didn't like this NT Coco pillow was because of just the bounce, bounciness, I guess, of it. it it's still like you put your weight into it and you still kind of sink into it. It still kind of, you know, forms to you, but it just feels like you're fighting the pillow when you're sleeping, if that makes sense. It just feels like the foam is just trying to, it's not conforming to your head, really. It's sort of, your head is like trying to push into the pillow is how it feels. Um, it feels springy where the coupe pillow, you can see like you kind of just, you put your hand in there and then it take, it absorbs it at first and then it kind of sinks in just a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate sort of what I'm talking about with this blender. I know there's companies like Purple that use like an egg or whatever, but I'm gonna use a blender. The blender is pretty heavy, it's like three or four pounds. And I'm just gonna drop it out here on the uh, coupe pillow. You can kind of see how it just sort of, I'll do it the other way. It just sort of hits a tiny little bounce, but it does just pretty much just hit and just like stay there. And you see it doesn't roll around or move too much. I can put it on this side and it'll roll a little bit there because the middle is sort of in like that. But you can just see how nicely it absorbs the blender's impact. I will take this one, I'll flip it over just so it's even. And you see how it kind of keeps the shape. I was sleeping on this side and just now, like every time I sleep in the pillow, if I don't sleep here, you know, it's like rolling my head in that direction. It's, it's really annoying. But anyways, so let's drop this blender. You see it got a little bit more bounce. It has a little bit more bounce to it. And it doesn't sink quite as much into the pillow. It's got a bounce to it, yeah. A lot more movement, so let's do it side by side here. See the difference. We'll do one and then the other. So we got this one, dropping it from about this height. Yeah, that's it. It just goes like that. This one, about the same height. A little bit more bounce. We got one, a little bounce. Nice. You get the idea. So basically, yes, there is a difference when you buy an expensive pillow and a cheaper pillow that are made with the same sort of technology or ideal material on the inside. Yeah, it's not the same. Um, maybe there are other pillows that are more competitive with the coupe pillow, but at this point, I think I've spent enough money trying to figure out and I am just gonna stick with the stuff that is proven. Basically found this pillow to be, you know, you know perfect for my needs. Uh, and uh, so I'm just gonna stick with it. I think all the reviews that rave about the coupe pillow and say that, hey, it's a really great pillow are right. And as you can see, there is a difference between the pillows when you drop a blender on it. So that's my conclusion. I hope this helps you if you're looking for a new pillow, either if you wanted to know if the coupe is actually a good pillow, because everybody says it is, I think it really is, and I was a skeptic. And if you were wondering if you could find a pillow that's cheaper, that looks like it's the same, and it's on Amazon, it's cheaper, you're probably gonna be disappointed and that you're just gonna waste time and money. I think if you're gonna spend the money on something that affects your sleep, then you should spend a little bit more and get what you know is gonna you know, be good. So anyways, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found it helpful, 
like the video. And if you just like me as a person, then subscribe. That'd be really awesome. Uh, we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. We're almost there. We're like 830. So if we hit a thousand, that'd be awesome. And I'll probably do something really cool or special or do something for one of our subscribers. And remember that you're in the first thousand subscribers. Imagine being subscribed to a really popular YouTuber when they were so small. You can brag about that. So give yourself something to brag about and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.